He has composed some of the most iconic orchestral movie scores ever. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 film scores by John Williams. For this list, we're looking at John Williams' career as a Hollywood film composer, and are choosing the scores we feel are the most iconic, memorable, and which add to the films in which they appear. However, we have decided to exclude films like Fiddler on the Roof because although he won an Oscar for it, Williams was the arranger and not the composer of that score. A Fiddler on the Roof. Number 10, Empire of the Sun. Jamie, let go. If the first entry on our list is of such admirable quality, you know that this is a list filled with serious contenders. What? Empire of the Sun follows a young Christian Bale on his journey from rich expat to Japanese prisoner of war during the Second World War. William's score creates an oral landscape that matches the horrors of war and captivity in a way that no listener can ever forget. The brilliant score earned him not only a well-deserved Oscar, Golden Globe, and Grammy nominations, but also won him the BAFTA, just one in a long list of awards. Number 9. Close Encounters of the Third Kind North-South Wind, Army chemical engineers from the Wyoming Valley. On the heels of his Grammy and Academy Award winning work on Jaws and Star Wars, Williams was tapped by Steven Spielberg once again to bring to screen a sense of mystery and wonderment associated with the unknown. 200 square miles. Everyone is being warned. Stay out of the area. Similar to his work on Jaws, Williams focused on a five-tone theme that ran throughout, even functioning as a plot point within the movie itself. Not only did these notes communicate with alien life forms, they became ingrained in popular consciousness as well. As seems to be a running theme on this list, Williams earned yet another Academy Award nomination for Close Encounters, but unfortunately he lost to himself in Star Wars. Number 8. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. After a relative dry spell, Williams was able to stretch his fantasy score muscles once again for our next entry. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Given the opportunity to take the music in any direction he wished, Williams crafted a score that set off the characters, quests, and Quidditch perfectly. And his magnificently eerie piece referred to as Hedwig's Theme became synonymous with the entire Harry Potter universe, books and films alike. Critics seemed to think so too, as he was also nominated for an Oscar. Think about it, who else could have crafted a fantasy score that would include the perfect theme for the entire Harry Potter franchise? It. We're going away! Far away! Number 7, Superman. Who do you call when you need a monumental score filled with heroism? Do you even have to ask? William's take on our favorite Kryptonian matched the mood of the film, conveying the theatrical and in some ways cartoonish feel of heroic deeds instead of being too serious. What the hell is that? Easy, miss. I've got you. You you've got me? Who's got you? Fun fact: veteran Hollywood composer Jerry Goldsmith was originally in charge of the score, but Williams took the position due to scheduling conflicts.
That worked out well for everyone, as Williams nabbed another Oscar nomination for his work. Number 6. Schindler's List. What? I'm a musician. What if you don't? Your name goes on a list? I hear your name goes on a list and it put you on trucks. Have your tissues ready. This time around, with the help of director Steven Spielberg, Williams uses his music to depict the sheer tragedy and loss suffered during the Holocaust. Some day, this is all going to end, you know. Unlike the majority of his other works, Schindler's List is a much more intimate score. With famed violinist Itzhak Perlman performing some of the melancholy music, Williams' delicate work on the soundtrack adds to the feeling of dread that accompanies one of the world's darkest periods in history. This emotion-invoking score allowed Williams to bring home his fifth Oscar, because, let's face it, Williams is a magician with music. Number 5. Raiders of the Lost Ark Our next entry is arguably the mother of all adventure film themes. This score provides another example of Williams' expertise in invoking excitement, most notably through his Raiders March, which would eventually become synonymous with all of Indy's adventures. Beyond that, Williams is also able to add just the right amount of horror when needed. Later be regarded as one of Williams' masterpieces, this score snagged the composer another Oscar nomination. Now it's time to go on an adventure with Dr. Jones. <laughs> Number 4. E.T. The Extraterrestrial <laughs> For his next trick, Williams will warm your hearts with this marvelously uplifting score. Oh. E.T. phone home? With his work on E.T., he wanted to portray a sense of innocence, showcasing audiences exactly how wide his range is, and the results blew everyone away. Ah! He also proved he has a sense of humor, by including a snippet of Yoda's theme from The Empire Strikes Back in the film, when E.T. runs into a child dressed as the Green Jedi. Boom, 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 boom. Rightfully earning its place as a John Williams concert staple, this is by far the most enchanting of his scores. So much so that E.T. obtained Williams his fourth Oscar win. He just can't stop winning Oscars, can he? Number three, Jurassic Park. It's, it's a dinosaur. There's a reason Williams is the go-to guy when it comes to fantastical and magical themes. He inspires us and makes us feel awe and excitement through his music, which is exactly what he accomplishes in Jurassic Park. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. Williams' music increases the sense of amazement we feel when traveling to Isla Nublar, and when we first see the dinosaurs on screen. At the same time, he doesn't neglect to amp up the intensity and fear when the Tyrannosaurus Rex attacks. William knows exactly what we are supposed to feel, and we happily follow along. Number 2. Jaws Quiet. We hear an Oscar win coming. Widely considered by fans and critics alike to be one of William's most impressive pieces, William's two-no tuba theme made multitudes of people scared to venture back into the water again. 
The score as a whole is incredibly well done, moving the plot along with mounting tension and primordial dread. As evidenced by such tracks as Out to Sea and Sea Attack Number no. 1. But it's the main theme that proved exactly what Williams is capable of. You guys okay over there? Need to build some suspense? Take note from John Williams. Before we orchestrate our final pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Star Wars Episode 4 – A New Hope This shouldn't have been a surprise. The combined talents of composer John Williams and director George Lucas take us to worlds we couldn't possibly dream of. Williams blows us right out of the gate with the epic opening theme, but all of it, from lurching around to the seedy most icely cantina to the ending ceremony, is amazing. Throughout, Williams portrays a sense of familiarity while exposing us to new lands. And this isn't just our ruling, as many critics list the Star Wars score as the best score ever composed. So, do you agree with our list? You're meddling in things that ought not to be meddled in. What's your choice for John Williams' best score? <laughs> for more awe-inspiring top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Adios, señor.